Okay, hi guys. Here we have our second video of the series of Elliot waves. Okay, the fractal-like nature of this theory. Um, so, my previous video, if you haven't watched it yet, I do recommend you do so because, uh, despite it not ha not being so difficult. Uh, I'm gonna cover some of the basics that I have said in that video, that I have presented in that video, but it's important if you are more familiar with the theory, so then we can we, we can go forward, okay? Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to improve every video, and if you have feedbacks, please tell me, because this is the best way for me to improve, okay? So, um, picking from where we left, here we have a five waves structure going up. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to this notebook here. Um, let me start here. This is a Bitcoin. I, I'm just using the chart just, as an, just to draw here some fibs, some Elliott waves. It's not gonna, I, I'm not gonna apply to the chart. Not today. I'm go I'm planning to do another video. The next video is go I'm gonna apply the impulse waves in a bunch of different charts, so then we can spot the the waves and how they they how, how to and how they are different in a, in real life applications, right? Because one thing is to know the theory, and the other is to to know how to spot the, the waves. And how to apply it to different charts yeah okay so here we have one two three four five okay this is the this is the impulse wave five wave structures one two three four five okay remember here we have our first wave one two three four and then five okay let me change the color ring and the degree okay i'm gonna put a uh, minor just because it's a uh, zero one two three four five really simple okay so here we have uh, our structure impulse wave and like i said this is a leading diagonal right why because we can spot a diagonal here right uh some some friends asked me why is a is it a a, di a diagonal yeah, because because of this see we can create a triangle here as I said it's not always a perfect structure okay like a re uh, a perfect triangle a perfect diagonal uh, this pattern is not always present but it's not uh, uncommon okay we start here and then we have this first we have those uh, those waves here this impulse wave is also called a five three five three five why because always when we have uh, an impulse wave we have one two three four five as well as i said in the in the previous video this is the fractal nature this is the fracture structure of Elliott waves, we have also five waves here inside of the first wave. Okay, three, four, five. Okay, and the same here in our wave three. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we have our our fifth wave. And last wave, really at the top of the triangle of the of the diagonal. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, there it is. We have oopsie, uh, oopsie, oopsie. I'm, not sure. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. It's a beautiful structure, isn't it? Okay, we have a, a waves within waves. Okay, this is the basic structure of Elliott waves. Okay, 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. What I am gonna talk about today is corrective patterns. Okay. What is a corrective pattern? Yeah. After we have an impulse wave, we have a, a corrective pattern. This is two and this three here. Yes. This pattern that we have inside of a, of a two or a, of a inside of a two or a four is a ABC. Okay. Not okay. Uh, we have different patterns. We, we, we might have different patterns that's not an ABC, but this is a this is for a later discussion. Okay, we are gonna have an ABC here. A B C. Okay. This is what we have here inside. A B C. Okay. And again we have a one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. You have a one, two, three, four, five going down, yes, and it's called an impulse wave, but it's down. Okay? Again, waves within waves. One, two, three, four, five. A. Then we have a corrective wave. A corrective wave is an ABC. So we have an A, B, C. And then we have sorry. And then we have a five waves down. Oh <laughs> I forgot I was to do this. I'm sorry. We have an ABC here. A B C. And then we have a five waves down. Okay. A B C. I'm so, I'm sorry. This is a five waves down. Five wave five waves down. This is wave C. We have a one, two. Three, four, five. Not a perfect. I'm not. Uh, it's not symmetrical or anything, but yes, it's something like this. Oh, it's really scary when you look at this, right? Oh my goodness, this is a lot of mass, a lot of waves. Yes, waves within waves. Okay, so here, in this structure here that I've drawn, we have an ABC. A, B. C. Let me show the wave here just so it makes sense. And here in wave 4, we have an ABC as well. Okay. A, B, C. Of course, we have specific characteristics for waves 2 and waves 4, as I have discussed really briefly in the first video. We have specific characteristics. They have a, a, a relationship between two and four, the retracement. They are correlated. Okay? But the basic nature of, of what happens inside a wave is three waves. Okay? A, B, C. In most of the time, okay, it's an A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay? So we are going to have a, a five waves down then three up, five waves down. Okay, so would the first so the first impulse wave here one it would have five waves up. This is a five waves up three five three five one three waves down five three five and then two it's finished. Then we have a five three five three five wave three is finished. And we have a five, three, five, four finished. Five, three, five, three, five. This is the pattern that they say it's a five waves up zigzag. Five waves, five waves up zigzag. The corrective zigzag pattern. Five waves up and zigzag. Okay, it's a zigzag because it's always doing this. Okay, correcting. That's the name of the pattern. Elliot correction wave A B C. Okay. Uh, so, as I've, as I've said in the first video, we have the relationship, we have the, 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 the desired spots for retracement. Here we have our 618, 65%, and as our desired, way, as our desired retracement uh, zone, we have for wave 4, 
we have 38%. Uh, here it wouldn't be up there. We would see something like this. Okay. It's a little bit like sometimes in Bitcoin, especially waves four takes a lot of time. It's it's like it's it's like uh, it's exactly what is happening now. Okay. Or it, it it's it's a it's a longer wave in time. I mean in time, and it might retrace to 50%. Okay, waves four, and it's an ABC. Okay, the basic structure, the basic nature of uh, of of all those waves is that after five we have a tree. After five we have a tree. Okay. After five we have a tree. Not a tree, but three waves. <laughs> Not a tree. <laughs> oh, bad joke. Bad joke is a bad joke. <laughs> so, A, B, C. Waves within waves. I, I need to show this thing happening, right? Uh, I, I would like it to, to... I would like to leave it to... An, I would like to split it to two different videos. But I do think that I need to do this now. I do need to... Uh, let me close this thing. Okay, let's apply this to a uh, short here. Uh, uh, BTC, perhaps. Yes, uh, let's see BTC. Four hours. Okay, four hours. I would like to. Let me see. Let me see this. Let, let us dig into a beautiful wave here. An example wave that happened. Um, here in uh, here in 24, last year in March. Okay, let's start here. Let's let's get this wave here and start marking it. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I really need to turn this off. Mm -hmm. yeah. no. Let's start here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's disregard for the moment. Um, um, the volume and everything, okay? Just let's start drawing some lines, okay? Uh, sometimes I like to use this, the, the polygon tool, just to see if I can make sense of, uh, of the symmetry, you see? If I have four waves, five waves in this case, if I have it, okay? I, I want, I want to get my, my FIB extension, I, I want get my my impulse wave to I, I, I just want to try to make sense to, to see if I have five waves okay hmm, seems like we have five waves here yeah. it seems like but I don't know we have plenty of room to go so hmm I think we might be looking at this okay and then getting this one here up Okay, I think it's better now. Okay, and then this would be the final leg of this, this one, two, three, four, five. Okay, why? Because we need to count inside of each of these, uh, inside, within, our, within each of these impulse waves, we need five waves up. Okay, so here is our one, two, three, four, five. Five is up here, okay. Five. Okay. As we had a pretty parabolic impulse in Bitcoin, uh, those retracements are rather lighter than they should be. Not they should be, but but they normally they are shorter than the would otherwise be okay if, if we measure it we're gonna see that they are really really not uh textbook oh no I, I am wrong see right there it appears to the to the gold, golden zone see here we have uh, our wave two and it has almost Touched the 78, 20%, 78, 60%. I'm sorry. Mm, nice. Okay. This is our wave two. 
It has, it has, it's a, a textbook. Then we have our wave tree. Wave tree, as I said, is the longest, okay? And it's the most likely to be extended. So here we need we need five waves up, okay? So one, two, three. This is a four, really clear four. The price action, okay? Five. Let me change the degree. It's minor, minute. Let me put this blue color bluish. Okay. Yeah, this this inside wave here, you see that. Oh Jesus, we don't have a really clear wave two here. Yeah, we 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 should, uh, we have to be open when we use alert waves when we use whatever tool whatever TA whatever technical analysis tool we we use we we must be open to to uh, break some rules, not break, but to see some some uh, some different patterns that that deviate a little bit of the textbook perfect example. In this case, we don't have a really clear wave two. We would need to go into lower time frames to really dig into and see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, I, I don't like to do this, okay, to dig, only when we really need to dig in and see exactly what's happening inside of each individual subwave. In this case, we are just trying to, to practice a little bit, okay? So, uh, it doesn't, it, it's not really the case that we need to dig, dig into each of these subwaves and see if we have five waves. In this case, we have we traced it, we traced, we traced it. Um, Twenty-three, sixty percent. It's like nothing. Okay, it's really just a little minus. No, no, no uh, yes, thirty-two, sixty percent. And by the way, uh, it's not a really uncommon place for BTC to retrace. Uh, for BTC to retrace for BTC wave 2 retracement because wave uh, in the case of BTC we usually s we have seen uh, uh, longer deeper uh, waves 2 or shallow waves 2 so in this case it's a shallow one it's a 23% retracement okay so we ha here we have a 1 2 within our wave 3 okay 1 2 3 okay where is my tree? Three. And then we have this deep four. Okay? Let's count this this A B C. This is an A. Okay. Why an A? Because this is the sharp correction, right? An A. A. B. Then we have this weird C. Okay. One, two. This would be a three, four, five. Okay. A B C. Then we would have our final wave five with that we need to discern five waves. Okay, we need to count five waves one, two, three, four, five. Pretty clear, pretty, pretty clear. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me just change the color here. Yellow. Oh, sorry. Five. Yes, uh, this two here, A, B, C, okay? Really, really, really clear. A, B, C, okay? Nice. Um, and then we have a one. One. One, two, three, four, five. And then an ABC. This is a really clear ABC, right? A, B, C. Then one, two, three, four, five to finish our five. Okay. This is this is a a really clear example of what we have: waves within waves within waves. 
You see? Ah, this is this color right here. It's not good. Sometimes we don't have the perfect B, we don't have the perfect C. So we have some rules, okay? Some rules of uh, uh, relate to the behavior of waves, of corrective waves. Okay, let's talk a little bit about those rules. Um, a, B, C, when we have an A, B, C, we have um, usually wave A is the sharpest, it has its it, it really goes down like this. It, it doesn't take a lot of time for it to... It goes like this. It's really sharp. A sharp correction, like direct. Okay? And we see this. This is like a, sometimes a falling edge. You see like a, this pattern here. You know? uh, a falling edge, uh, a downward. Okay, Let's see. this is a diagonal, uh, a downward diagonal. It, so some analysts call this a, a, a leading diagonal, but a uh, corrective leading diagonal, right? I don't agree, but it's uh, it, it's nomenclature, and I don't really, I don't really care. So this is a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wave A, and we have the relationship between those waves, okay? Wave A, it's, uh, I'm sorry, wave B, it's usually 50, not you, uh, usually, yes, usually it's 50% of wave A. So we swing, we pull our fib retracement tool from the, high, from the highest point to the lowest, and wave B is usually the is is usually at the 50% of wave of wave of wave A, okay? And it is within wave B we have three waves, okay? Um, three waves, three waves, okay? 50%. Okay, and then from B to C we have five waves down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, uh, a falling edge pattern. Uh, sometimes we see a, a longer C like this, or a really extended C, way, way longer than B. I'm sorry, way longer than A. Okay, we have the fib. Uh, our fib extension here just to calculate the, the probabilities of uh, wave C. We, we get our wave A and extend it to B here, use B as the beginning of it, and then we have here the common spot 61, 80 percent, uh, 100. Oh my goodness, 100 is down there, but, but, but there is 100. It's because it's log, I think. Oh, Jesus. It's not showing. It's a, if you project, it's because log takes into account uh, price, not the length of, uh, of the, the wave. If you see, it's really down here. Oh, it's negative. <laughs> if that happens. Yes, it's because it's log. Let me take this out. Just... If it's not logarithmic, it's, it's going to work just fine now. It's still negative. Yes. It's still negative. What's going on? Pretty weird, huh? Pretty weird. Yes, it's going to be negative. It's swinging. Yes, it's okay. Uh, um, you see? It's going negative. Because this wave here, if we project uh, A to B, and then we would have already extended C would be negative, okay? Just, just to have the same price uh, length of A. It's not wavelength, it's price wavelength, okay? Okay, but this is not a good example. 
example, I need to have a shorter wave A just to, to make it clear. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I, I just need to create a. This is it's it's everything the same. Okay, this is a a falling edge. A, Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This is our wave A going down. Okay, an ABC corrective. Uh, if it's 50%. So let's measure it again from high to low here. 50% is going to be here. Yes, I'm going to take this out. This one as well. Okay, so now we get our Fib extension. From the highest point of A to the lowest, then project to B. And where is the 100%? It's, it's again negative. It doesn't make sense. I'm not in log scale. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. So here it is. It's negative. Yes. Okay, just for you guys to see what I'm talking about, when we project it, it's the price, okay, it's this length of the price, it's not only the length of the, if you, if it, it's a little bit odd, if you get this, this the, 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 the length of this wave here, projecting from this B here, and you, and you measure it, you're gonna see that this is this is equal this one. It's the same length of uh, of price. It, 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 it's the same the same size of the wave. Okay, that's why log log was going way downward. It was out of the screen. It was negative price. It, it can be negative. In this case, the retracement would be minus two dollars. It's, it's impossible. We can't have a negative price. Okay, I'm sorry. I should have put this this chart, uh, this example up here, and then we wouldn't have this problem. Um, this is so. This is the correction A B C. Yes. Um, so we have those rules first. A the first wave. A, I, I'm gonna repeat it again. Okay. A B C. So, B has a relationship of 50% of wave A. Here it is, 50%. And C can be longer than wave A. We are here, we are using our field extension, projecting to wave B, and then we have 100%. Can be 100%, can be longer, can be like 127%. 161, 80% wave C, or we can have a truncated wave C, okay, or we can have a double bottom, okay, a really, really short, a really shallow uh, wave C, okay, a truncated wave C, but with five waves down, okay. Uh, one caveat though, when we count those sub waves, within those uh, higher degree waves, those main waves. Sometimes we can't discern exactly one, two, three, four, five, okay? In real life examples, we can count one, two, three, four, five, but we do see the impulse. We do see that we have this, this clear A, this clear B, and this clear C, okay? Like, uh, let, me take, let, let me show you an example. Um, we have plenty of it here, yeah. Here you have a A B C, okay. This, here is pretty clear for me, yeah. Here we have an A, a sharp A, like I said, B, and then a C. Huh? We don't have a, if we if we go, if we if we were to go to a lower time frames to dig into, we would see that we have. Five waves down, really sharp A, B, and then a C. A, a rather sharp B, a, a rather sharp C as well. And a longer C, uh, longer than A. This is a, a textbook A, B, C. Okay, we, we, uh, within with this, this higher degree wave four. Okay. Um, I think that 
this is enough for this video, right? Uh, I think I covered the, the, the basics of the corrective ABC waves, okay? This Fib2 here, this, I'm sorry, this Elliott wave corrective pattern with ABC, okay? If you have questions, please send to me and subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up, it's always nice. Follow me on Twitter, here is my Twitter handle. Right? Here's my Twitter, I have plenty, plenty of information in, on, on my Twitter. I will post my, my link to my Twitter in my description, okay? So, thank you very much. And we see each other in the next video of this series. Bye-bye. Yeah?